Within California, the devastating ramifications of the climate crisis have become increasingly apparent. The historic 2011 drought lasted for 376 weeks, wreaking havoc for communities and systems which depend on the consistent access to clean water. With this, the overly dry conditions which the drought facilitated has resulted in multiple wildfires that have ravaged the state. The most recent wildfires blanket California in a dark haze, placing the familiar blue skies with an ominous orange. This was only a brief glimpse into the future of California if immediate action is not taken to address the ongoing climate crisis. Governor Gavin Newsom recently signed an executive order directing the state to require that by 2035, all new cars and passenger trucks sold in California will be zero emission vehicles. An announcement from the California governor's office indicates that, that the transportation sector is responsible for more than half of all of California's carbon pollution. This is the most impactful step our state can take to fight climate change. For too many decades, we have allowed cars to pollute the air that our children and families breathe. Our cars shouldn't make wildfires worse and create more days filled with smoky air and smog. Following the executive order, the California Air Resources Board plans to develop regulations that will mandate 100% of sales of passenger cars and trucks are zero emissions by 2035. The board will also help develop regulations that require operations of medium and heavy duty vehicles to be fully zero emission by 2045. Over half of the pollutants in America's air is from mobile sources of air pollution. In 2019, the Trump administration attempted to remove California's authority to set stricter auto emission standards. If it were to be upheld, it would cause issues in the state's regulation of vehicle greenhouse gas pollutions, so California fought. No other state in the U.S. can match what California offers in terms of natural beauty, miles of coastline, and idyllic weather. We're also home to world-renowned entrepreneurs, inventors, and dreamers, the kind of people who believe we can do anything once we set our minds to it. And it's easy to see why we love living in California, but the California we love is threatened. Climate change is already contributing to increased air pollution, deforestation, ocean acidification, more wildfires, droughts, heat waves, and sea level rise, which threaten our health, our livelihoods, and our future. Scientists and other experts agree that we need to reduce carbon pollution if we are to avoid the worst effects of climate change, and there's no time to waste. We have to find ways to work together to make real substantive changes to protect what we have today and preserve our natural resources for future generations. Governor Newsman's executive order does not account for what happens to marginalized communities in this process and where the fate of this order continue to stay informed and educated on issues that continue to threaten our environment and community. The power to fight climate change with equitable solutions starts with community organizing and petitioning for a clear plan for California.